Well, tonight, some of the students in Boston College's now suspended swimming and diving program are firing back at the school, insisting that it rushed to judgment without an honest accounting of what may have happened. WBZ's Christina Rex is live in Chestnut Hill. And Christina, we should point out we're also getting reports that spell out what allegedly did happen. Yeah, at the same time, Lisa, we're learning new information here. So a BC spokesperson tells me the school will not tell us because communications with students are private, of course, but reports in the student newspaper, the Heights here at BC, detail these alleged hazing incidents. And we want to warn you, the information is graphic. It was kind of hard to believe at first because it's pretty crazy to think that they're doing that. BC students are reacting to reports that the swim and dive team allegedly made members binge drink and consume their own vomit. I don't know who thought that would ever be a good idea. Gross, that's unsanitary. I didn't really think that those things happened here. Oh, that doesn't happen in our community. Dennis Goodwin says this is a common misconception. He founded the anti-hazing collaborative here in Massachusetts, which trains college and high school sports teams nationwide about the dangers of hazing. Freshmen that are coming in will do anything they want to swim or dive at a Division I school. So they will do it because if they want to be part of their team and be accepted by the team, they're doing it. The upperclassmen are telling them what to do. The swim and dive team was suspended indefinitely earlier this week due to credible reports of hazing, according to a BC spokesperson. In a new statement, the college tells WBZ the matter will be investigated by the dean of students fairly and through an impartial process. Once that investigation is done, the school will reassess the team's status. I think it's a valid choice because we really need to take these kinds of things seriously. Half of the team's members have now retained a lawyer who sent us a statement saying the school acted prematurely, saying the suspension and statement was not only negligent but extremely harmful and damaging to members of the program, calling the college irresponsible in its public messaging. So be proactive instead of reactive. Goodwin says the key for the entire program is training teams before an incident occurs. And they're, they're afraid because if they speak up, they might be the next victim or they won't be part of the team. So it's really that's where the training comes in to have the people speak up. The real hero is the person who speaks up. And again, the suspension is indefinite right now while the investigation goes on. The swim and dive team was set to compete for the first time this season, October 7th in D.C. It's unclear if this investigation will be complete by then. Live in Chestnut Hill, Christina Rex, WBZ News.